In this video I'm going to search for Galileo and GPS satellite signals using Octave installed on Linux. Octave is a free and open source scientific programming language similar to MATLAB. In fact it's designed to be as compatible as possible with MATLAB. So quite often it's a simple process to port over something written from MATLAB into Octave. That's exactly what I've done with the Octave script I'm going to use today. Both Galileo and GPS satellites continuously transmit signals which the user tracks, decodes the navigation data, and then with some snazzy maths can figure out where in the world they are. Today I'm only going to look at searching and tracking. Um, if you're interested in decoding the navigation data and calculating position solutions, then have a look at my webpage for more info. Anyway, let's get started. I assume you already have Linux installed. I'm going to be using Kubuntu version 20.04 today. For Kubuntu, I'm going to use Discover to search for and install Octave. I type Octave and see that two search results for Octave have appeared. As this person says, do not use the Snap version, else you will not be able to install things from Forge. To know whether or not it's a Snap version or not, you scroll down to the bottom and look for source. And this one does not mention snap, so this one's the correct one. However, this one, if we scroll down to the bottom, it says source snap, so it's not the one. So we go back to this one again, which is the Ubuntu source, and click on install. Type in the pass key. Next, download the Octave script, which you can find a link for in the video description. Open with Arc and extract to a location of your choice. For me, I'm going to put it in there. Next, run Octave. Change to the folder that you downloaded the script to. Next, double click gal underscore test.m. To use the script, you'll need a recording of the satellite signals. If you don't have any way of making your own recordings at the moment, or are not interested in making your own recordings, I've included a demo recording which is a recording of one second of the satellites. If you're interested in making your own recording, have a look at my other video, which I'll include a link to in the video description. For the rest of this video, I'll use the demo recording, which is the default setup for the script. So click Save File and Run to start the script. Go back to the command window. It will ask you to for your password, because on Linux, it has to have libOctave underscore dev. If you've already got that installed, it won't ask you for it. The script will then install the required packages. This might take a while. Fortunately, it only has to do this once. decodes the pilot signal from a Galileo satellite. It then shows you the carrier tracking error, the chip tracking error, the AGC gain, and the carrier frequency offset, as well as the demodulated points themselves. This script can run in two different modes. The first is a searching mode, where by brute force it searches what satellites are visible and returns a list of them to the user. The other mode is more complicated and first performs a coarse estimate of the carrier frequency and PRN chip offsets. It then goes into a tracking loop that fine tunes the carrier frequency and PRN chip offsets. The second mode is what the script has just performed now. So now I'll show you the first mode of operation, the searching mode. I'll remove the list of satellites and select true for the search mode. Search for detectable selects between these two modes. Here I select true. What satellite system you search for is defined here. In this case I'm searching for Galileo satellites. I run it, go to the command window to see the output.
the script has now returned a list of the satellites in view, which I can copy and paste into the Galileo section, as I have chosen the Galileo system. I can then search for the satellites in the GPS system by going GPS, save and run, back to the command window. and a list of visible satellites for the GPS system are returned, which I can then copy and paste into the GPS system location for the satellites visible. I can then turn off search for detectable, and that will put me into the second mode where it performs the course acquisition and then tracks the satellites. So I'm interested in the Galileo system, so I'll select Galileo, I will choose Satellite Index 1, which is 25 in this case, and we'll run that. This script only looks for the open service E1 Galileo signals and the legacy L1 GPS signals. The open service E1 Galileo signals consist of two separate signals, a pilot and a eye navigation data signal. Here we see the pilot signal of the secondary PRN. You can see here it prints out information about what it's doing. First it says it, the system is the Galileo system, it's looking at PRN 25 and it performs the course estimate for the carrier frequency and PRN chip offsets. At this point it is tracking the signal and no other information is displayed until the signal has finished at which point some demodulated bits and the plots are displayed. Anyway, that's all for now.